Emmanuel TV, Haiti Earthquake Relief. At the gate of Clinique Emmanuel, the patients line up, waiting to be selected to enter the clinic for consultation and treatment. At the tables, details are taken down, along with blood pressure and temperature checks, before they will be ushered to meet with one of the doctors. The consultation session takes place privately between a doctor, patient and a translator. After the discussion, where applicable, the doctor will prescribe the drugs needed by the patient, which will also be provided free of charge by Clinique Emmanuel. Welcome to Clinique Emmanuel. I want to take you on a tour to show you how things have progressed since we last saw you. So let's make our way first of all over to the kitchen. In the background you'll see that the clinic has already started and they're addressing them concerning our baby clinic that we plan to have on Saturday. We decided every Saturday will be a clinic just for babies and nursing mothers so we can explain um, how to go about taking care of small children and newborn babies. Now we're going to head over to our new showers. Before you might remember we just had a little a shower tent where we were standing in a bowl and splashing water on ourselves. Now we have a new facility that you might want to come and see. We have here on the left side is for the men and here on the right side is for the women. Okay, so let's ask them now how their shower was. It, it was good, it was good. Before we didn't have a place to shower, right now we have one. <laughs> it's good, I like it. And how was your shower? Oh, it was fantastic. Before I used to shower in the sea, but now we have this wonderful shower. Let me show you inside. If you look inside, we have a place here to hang our towels. And then we have a place for our soap and a light when it's dark. You might remember before, we were just using toilet tents. And now we have a wonderful facility here. This one is for the team, and then this is for those that come for the clinic, um, for the public to use. So let's go inside and see. We have this uh, wonderful toilet block, and the normal place to sit in and use it. This is for females, and this one here is for males. Emmanuel TV, Haiti Earthquake Relief. This is the Saturday Nursing and Pregnant Mothers Clinic at Clinique Emmanuel. It was deemed necessary to have this special time for these patients as they need education on how to properly take care of their newborn babies and children. <coughs> Hallelujah! Another beautiful baby is born at Clinique Emmanuel. My name is Sister Olga, coming from South Africa. I came here to help the people of uh, Haiti through Emmanuel TV. Today, it was a hectic day. After waking hours, we delivered two babies simultaneously, a baby boy and a baby girl, at about 25 past four. Both of them, they came fully dilated with head on perineum. We had to rush, me and Sister Anna. Praise God, Emmanuel, God is with us. Thank you, Jesus. I'm happy for Emmanuel Clinic. I'm Anna Cardada. I'm from Athens. Uh, I'm here for Emmanuel TV to help the people. I'm very happy because she's girl. <laughs> <laughs> This is all part of the service Emmanuel TV is rendering to the people of Arcai Haiti to change lives, change nations, and change the world through the gospel of Jesus Christ. What have you done to affect someone's life positively today? Join us and make a difference. Your contribution counts. This woman cries out as the medical team treat a wound on her foot. Ailments like a common cold, cough or flu, which ordinarily may just need some rest to take care of, need to be treated carefully as getting pure clean water and good food is still a difficult task for many in Haiti. 
thanks to the wonderful response from the partners and supporters of Emmanuel TV. Clinique Emmanuel is equipped with a vast medical stock, which allows them to attend to a wide range of medical needs. Consistent with the good practice they have learned from their experience in the medical field, the doctors are very careful to stress the dosage and usage instructions of each medication they issue a patient. At one of the orphanages, Nurse Donna uses a stethoscope to listen to the breathing of this little girl. I'll give him some band-aids too. Okay. But we're gonna give you these vitamins, okay? And maybe every other day, give the kids one. <laughs> and, and every day? Every other day. Yeah, like they got one today, so skip tomorrow and give them the next day. Okay. okay. It's no big deal if you mess up and give them every day. It's just to make them last longer. Okay? Okay, okay. okay so there's that. And um, if, if the children still have problems with diarrhea, he can give them some of this liquid to replace their electrolytes. Okay? okay? And I'll get the band-aids that I brought and give them to you, okay? Back outside past a Kenny's orphanage, the Emmanuel TV Haiti Earthquake Relief Team set up more tents for the children. These particular tents are going to be used as classrooms for the children until the local schools are up and running again. These particular tents are going to be used as dining rooms. In trying times such as these, the value of education cannot be overlooked as the children of Haiti are the future of Haiti. Okay, hi, we're back at, we're still at, at Pastor Kenny's orphanage and we're finishing up. We've got their tent up, their new tent that they're going to be eating dinner in. And uh, we've seen all the children and I've made some notes for the doctors back at the clinic so that they can bring back the appropriate medications for all of them. So we'll see you again when we come back. Bye-bye. Keeping the children engaged and occupied would help them not to concentrate on the situation around them, but rather on their dream and goal. Emmanuel TV, Haiti Earthquake Relief.